ready to welcome Afghan citizens and their families to, this, to the gateway city with open arms and open hearts. The city of St. Louis is welcoming around 1,000 Afghans with special immigrant visas. St. Louis is one of 19 cities across the country chosen to accept the refugees. Each visa allows refugees to bring their family here as well. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Many refugees are fleeing from Afghanistan as the Taliban overthrows the government there. One woman who has survived a Taliban attack tells our Ryan Henson she's grateful for her life here, but has survivor's remorse. There's some things in life you'll never forget. Trauma so deep, it leaves a scar that lasts a lifetime. My school was bombed by Taliban. They bombed my books. They attacked my books. They attacked my right to education. They attacked the right, the simple rights that I had as a human, as a woman. Arbila Hatifi was 14 years old in Kabul at the time. Just moments before, her classroom received a warning that there were bombs in the all-girls school. She was saying her final prayers as the blast went off. When I opened my eyes, I started to look around. All I could see was smoke and dust from the school buildings falling apart. Her first instinct, find her sister in another part of the school. I see my little sister in a corner. She was in the arms of one of the teachers, but all around her, I could, all I could see was that classmates, that teachers, that bodies. They escaped through the roof to avoid setting off more bombs. That was 15 years ago. She since made a new life here in St. Louis. But the scenes of desperation in her home country today bring back Taliban nightmares from her past life. They are being punished for simply being educated for just showing their faces, for just going and wanting to go out in the public. It's the women and children Hatifi fears for the most. Many of the younger generations don't even remember a time when the Taliban was this strong. I am privileged for the rights I have today, for the life that I live today. A freedom many take for granted in America, a fading reality for Afghans trapped in the country. Ryan Henson, five on your side. Hatifi says she wants the world to stand with the Afghan people condemning the Taliban. You will have your chance on Sunday at a rally on the steps of City Hall in downtown at 5 p.m.